Hello, in this video, let's upload a Fred graph into a paper that we've already written. Pretty useful tool. So here I'm at Fred, Federal Reserve Economic Data. I can find lots of things. I can look up health care. I can find spending per capita. I can find total spending. I can find, let's do construction spending. Let's say that you were uh, into building hospitals or something like that. Now this is percent change from preceding periods. This is the rate of growth and I, I'm changing the slider on the bottom here to show that or I can click right here. I can click the last five years. I can also click right into here. Okay, So this is going to go until uh, January of 2019. If I want to add another uh, if I want to add another uh, data set to this I just click on add line and I could click like maybe the GDP or something like that let's do GDP um, click on add there okay now I only want to see the last five years so red lines can be real GDP and then the blue lines make total construction spending on healthcare. So, how much they're building hospitals. All right. So let's say I want to download this graph. I just hit download. If you do Excel, you can get all the data. CSV is the Excel data, so it's comma separated variables. Well, I'm going to do image. Okay. So I clicked on that, and. Here it is. I've already downloaded one over here. So I'm going to go to Show and Folder. And there it is, Fred Graph 1. So here's this paper that I've already written. And here it is. I'm just going to drag it over here. And there it is. And now what I want to do is I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to Format Picture. And the easiest thing to do is to tell it uh, see I guess it's not that easy I want to go to size and position that's what I want to do I want to do text wrapping and if you do tight it's probably the best one because it wraps it wraps the uh, text around this so what you can do I'm going to zoom out here on my screen this way I can make it smaller, I can make it bigger. Bigger is better. It's easier to read. But I can, because I made it tight, I can see how I can move it around the date. All right. And then when I'm done, let's say I'm all done with this, this paper here. So I put the other, the other one in there. I can, I can do this one other way. I can also hit download, download it to PowerPoint. And it's going to give me a PowerPoint eventually which I can then I'm just gonna go open here's this and I can right click on it eventually I can just right click the mouse button, and then hit copy, and it'll paste it in there. So it's uh, taking taking a while to load. So let me let me go back to this. All right, so I'm back in here. Let's say I want to save the paper because I'm done. I'm going to go to Save As, and I'm in this. It says where do you want to save it? Well, saving it as a Word document. Most people want to save it as a PDF, so I hit PDF. And I'm going to hit save. Now this is an actual paper that I've already already done. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to call this like test copy or something. All right, test copy.pdf. Hit save. And that's eventually going to save. I'm saving it on my router, so that's probably the probably the, the deal here. All right, so here's this. This this didn't ever actually load, so sorry about that. But you can see it's in PowerPoint. You can just right click on that, and you're you're good there. So that's all you got to do, and hope that helps you.